Good morning. Chad Bianco, Riverside County Sheriff. We are here today because California public safety is in crisis. Crime is steadily on the rise, and our public safety policy is one of the worst, if not the worst, in the nation. I want to make this clear, and I want there to be no mistake in what I am saying. This is not by accident. The driving force in our crisis is a radical, progressive agenda fraudulently called criminal justice reform. This is nothing short of a sick and twisted social experiment where law enforcement is the bad guy and criminals are somehow victims of society and not responsible for their actions, their crimes, or accountable to their countless victims. This agenda began with the passage of AB 109, the so-called Public Safety Realignment Act. State government failed to take responsibility for prison overcrowding or their failure to build more prisons and instead forced county jails to house state inmates while simultaneously releasing thousands of felons early. This has pushed our county jails to a near collapse and caused the early release of countless criminals. Thousands upon thousands of criminals are being released from custody early, crime is increasing, and our governor is closing prisons instead of building new ones. It defies common sense. In 2014, a complete fraud was perpetrated in California. The so-called Safe Streets and Safe Schools Initiative, Prop 47, changed many felonies to misdemeanors, basically legalized drug use, and increased the amount of petty, petty theft to nearly $1,000. In 2016, another lie was perpetrated on voters with the naming and wording of Prop 57, tricking voters into approving the release of thousands of violent criminals onto our streets and neighborhoods. This is why we are here. Everyone knows Prop 47 and 57 are disasters, and yet Governor Newsom adamantly touts it as a success, and lawmakers continue to refuse to fix their, their mistake and the problems that they have created. When once crimes are no longer crimes, it allows Governor Newsom and Attorney General Bonta to cite completely flawed data points to support their failures. Californians are now suffering the consequences of a failed social agenda. We are now at our breaking point and Californians have had enough. The lie of Prop 47 has been exposed and the progressive love affair with criminals at the expense of victims has infuriated law-abiding Californians. While we suffer every day with rampant theft causing our small businesses to close and our large box stores to move out of state, our supermajority of lawmakers sit here in their guarded tower oblivious to what is going on in their communities experiencing drastic increases in all crimes, particularly violent crimes. Over the past five years, law enforcement has been unable to get our progressive left majority to even consider any new law or modification to an existing law that would increase punishment or send criminals to prison. Reality has gone completely upside down to the point our governor, our lawmakers, and our attorney general refuse to prosecute criminals to include those criminals committing crimes with guns and instead have dedicated their efforts to disarm and remove constitutional protections of self-defense from law-abiding Californians. We are in a very important election year and the political silliness is surfacing all around us. The same supermajority who refused any sort of tough on crime laws for the past several years are up for re-election. They are now claiming they are going to address our public safety crisis with new laws cracking down on crime. The problem is every one of their bills are disingenuous and hollow. For instance, one bill claims to address theft by lowering the felony limit back to $400. Upon examination of the bill, you will find that it gives these career criminals three more chances to steal and be convicted before they are sentenced to prison. That is three, a minimum of three, more victims. We cannot turn on the news, read the newspaper, go to the grocery store, or open our businesses without being slapped in the face of reality that criminals have been emboldened by a lenient system that holds no consequence for criminal behavior. Instead of addressing the obvious, tone deaf Governor Newsom attacks a Target employee for not stopping a criminal from fleeing the store instead of taking an honest look at the failed social experiment that he himself leads that allowed that theft to occur. 
It is time we wake up and hold our politicians accountable for what their bills, laws, and policies have caused. It is time to return to a common sense approach to crime, realizing and admitting that there are evil people who refuse to conform to a civilized society and instead choose to victimize the rest of us by stealing our property, robbing our stores, flooding our streets with drugs, including fentanyl, breaking into our homes, murdering our children, and giving the middle finger to our justice system. Californians deserve better. I am proud to support lawmakers like Bill Asaley and several others who acknowledge that criminals are responsible for their actions and they need to be held accountable. Thank you.